Okay, I'm at 136 Cedar sh Cedar Shade Circle. Um, so it is on a little dead end street, basically. I mean, the only people that would really drive down this street are the ones that live here. It does have a cute little covered front porch area with tre Trex decking. Siding looks like it's in really good shape. Posts have been stained. This is the Trex decking um, and the covered front porch. Okay, and then we come inside. We've got laminate flooring right as we first come in. It is not like the most quality laminate flooring. Um, it looks like it's in okay shape, but this is not ideal for getting water on this flooring. Um, so, and the carpet is definitely on the older side. So there's a lot of wear and traffic right through here. You can see here where the carpet, that actually looks like nice carpet because nobody walks on it. Um, there is an entry closet and there is kind of a little bit of a room for like a console table or something at the entry. So that part is nice. They have a lot of furniture in here. So it is kind of hard to see with how it's currently set up. Um, but it's an okay size living room. Uh, one weird thing is that there is a light here in the entryway, but there is no overhead lighting in the living room. So that is something I want you to be aware of. Um, it is, it's a three bedroom house, but it also has an office space. So we have the dining room, the kitchen is nice and open, you know, good flow between. Um, there is this little side patio. They are taking their hot tub with them. At least that's what it has said. So it is in a fenced area. Um, pretty big hot tub, I suppose, with a really good offer, they might consider it. But they are already thinking that they're going to get multiple offers and that they are going to be reviewing them Thursday morning. They want offers submitted by Wednesday night. Um, so here's the kitchen. It is laminate countertops. Stainless steel sink, a little bit of backsplash, tile backsplash. Um, the owner just quickly left for me to be able to come and take this video. So I'm sure they didn't spruce it quite like they might have otherwise. However, it did just come on the market yesterday. So maybe this is the sprucing. <laughs> this is all they do. Um, it is kind of unique to have this little window here in the kitchen because you've got this weird gap in between the cabinets, but natural light is always welcomed in my opinion. Um, so it is the smooth top glass stove, microwave, you know, pretty basic appliances, water and ice in the door and the freezer. Um, probably the stove is the only thing that's been upgraded since they built the house in 2007. Everything else is probably original. So we have a hallway there that goes to bedrooms. We have a pantry closet here. It's pretty decent sized. This is a little bit different in that it could be called a bedroom. Um, they did not classify this one as a bedroom in the listing. And so this would be more like an office um, because people would have to walk through here to get to the back backyard. However, you can walk past the dining room table and get to the side yard so I think for this case you would probably just do um, have the table out on the side yard where the hot tub is right now there is a deck here and we can't really see it with how how the snow is um, that is a really tall fence like an eight foot tall fence in the backyard um, you don't see that very often and I'm pretty sure the covenants did not allow that, but somebody put up an eight foot fence. Okay. Coming back through. So, I mean, it just feels a little bit darker in that living room and it's cause it has, there's no overhead lighting at all in there. There's a decent amount of windows. So you're going to get some good natural light. Um, but I would assume, you know, in the evenings, it's going to be a little bit dark in there. Again, back to the pretty worn carpet. So we have two bedrooms here. Master bedroom is at the end of the hall. 
Um, so this is guest bathroom and it also just has the vanity light. So it's a little bit darker in the shower area. Um, looks like they have some roommates or something that live here. Linen closet at the end of the hallway and then this goes out to the garage. So it is a two car garage. Um, they've got it full of toys and obviously packed up stuff. But you should actually be able to park two cars in here. There is some serious drywall damage right there. Not sure why. Um, they definitely have a dog. But I don't know how a dog would create that damage. Uh, so this bedroom is interesting. This is why I think that they have a roommate. Is because of this room. Or maybe they have a teenager. Who knows? Um, anyway, normal closet. No overhead lighting. So the light switch just goes to that lamp over there on the side. Um, lots of stuff in here. Next bedroom, they have doggy gates everywhere. Um, and this one I don't know how to use. Huh. Okay, well this one they're using as an office, but it is a normal size bedroom with a normal size closet. Again, no overhead lighting, so this light switch goes to this lamp in the corner. So this way down the hall, we have a laundry room, which I do like that it's its own room and that you can have a little bit of storage, some cleaning supplies and all of that in this space. And then it has the water heater closet. So it looks like it, this water heater was just serviced in 2020 and that it had a new thermal couple put on it. Um, but it is definitely not a 2020 water heater. It doesn't look bad. It is a gas water heater, which is more efficient than electric. So they have the stack washer and dryer in here. You could have a normal side-by-side -side with how this is set up. So that would work. The master bedroom, this is a king size bed and they have a big dresser next to the bed. And then there is a little kind of drum nightstand on that side. So it is a good size room. You could definitely fit normal size furniture in here with a king bed. Um, windows going out to the back. Oh, that screen is trashed. Anyway, this shows you a little bit of that deck off the back door. So it is a good size deck. You could definitely fit a table and chairs. I just think it's weird that you have to walk through that bedroom or the office to get out there. So it is double sinks, basic tub shower, and then you have this extra little area and the toilet is tucked behind the door. This is the closet. So it's a pretty good sized walk-in closet. Even comes around that corner a little bit. Okay, let me know your thoughts.